Hey guys! So today, I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to do dreadlocks. Um, I watched one video, so wish, wish me luck, I know how to do it, but I've never done it before. So, if I completely miserably fail, then you get to watch me completely miserably fair. fail. Fail. And if not, then this will be a tutorial. And then if I do fail, then I'll show you how to take it out. To take it out, you'll need some kind of needle, like a sewing needle, a knitting needle, you can use a crochet needle, you can use a bobby pin, anything like that, a safety pin. Um, I just am using it. Yeah. <laughs> to end it, you'll need a needle too, but I wouldn't recommend using a bobby pin because it's too thick. And um, the end isn't pointy. It's more like this instead of this. We'll need this. So let's get started. So first, you're gonna need to brush out your hair. You can use any brush. I have all these just to show you. You know, I have all these. This is a Batman brush. It's new. I love it. It broke. My mom stepped on it, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but I super glued it. <laughs> but it works, you know. So, my, I'm only going to do one dreadlock. Mine's going to be right here. And then you can use, like, some thread to decorate it. You can use beads. Just like you that you want had. Use some thread. I left the scissors over there. You know, you don't have to decorate it. If you have some, like, colored yarn or something around the house, I like red yarn. It looks really cool. You know? I like seeing people with dreadlocks with red, red yarn on it because it's cool. I don't want to do that right away. I'm just going to do this. Um, so, yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> um... So basically, what you're going to do to start is very simple. You're just going to brush out your hair. Now, I did break my finger last night. Um, see, it's swollen, and there's the bone right there. But, no insurance, so no hospital. It hurts really bad. But I'm a toughie. I have really high tolerance to pain. I didn't feel any of these piercings. I have my cartilage pierced. I didn't feel my gauges, which I am, by the way, going up to a 10 in a couple days. But not tomorrow, because tomorrow I am going camping. I like to use this brush because it just, like, brushes out your hair and you don't even feel it, but it does work. And then I'll go to this brush, and then I'll go to this brush, and then I'll go to this brush. So, yeah. But, um, there's, you guys can fast forward or whatever, but I am not going to, like, um, pause the video or anything. I'm just going to do it. There are no tricks. You don't have to have your hair <coughs> dirty or clean. You don't have to, but, um... It would probably be better if your hair hadn't been showered in a couple days. Now, I can't go like that. Um, I showered yesterday, and then I'm taking a shower tonight. And then I'm going camping tomorrow, so I'm taking another shower in the morning, but, like, a really good shower. Tonight, I'm basically just rinsing. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Um, but... I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet. Um, my friend came over, right? She decided that it'd be a great idea, because I'm a super heavy sleeper, to just trim my hair right there. And as if I wouldn't notice, or be a good prank. Yeah. It wasn't. 
and I did notice. But I am a really heavy sleeper, and I did sleep through it. And you know, they have all the lights on, full blast and everything. Just slept through it. I'm weird like that. See, super glue is like my Batman. He's my Superman. I love super glue. See, look, you can barely even tell, right? But yeah. I don't know why my hair is being so easy to brush today. Never mind, never mind. Usually it's super hard. But like the whole time. And it hurts really bad. See, I can't even brush my hair. My finger hurts so bad. Oh, man. And, um, I did dye my hair like six months ago. And it faded out, in case you couldn't tell. So, it's not just my roots anymore. It's like completely grown out. <laughs> so, I'm going to go get my hair done here in a couple months. Maybe in a month or so. I'm going to get my bangs trimmed. I'm going to get my hair touched up. But it's, it is going to be electric red or purple again. I might do my bangs red and my rest of my hair purple. I don't know. I'm, my, I'm crazy with my hair. This is the worst brush. I hate it. I mean, it's not the worst brush, it's the worst part of brushing my hair, it hurts. But, if I did this brush first, it would hurt so bad. Like, I told you, I just woke up. Dreadlocks are actually really easy to do. They don't look very easy, but they are. I'm gonna go try the music down. Sorry, my camera doesn't know how to pause. Apparently, I did have a ponytail in my hair, so. Which I never have my hair up. I hated it the whole day. But it's getting so hot out. Like, it's worse than Phoenix here right now. I don't know why. I live in Prescott Valley. It's not supposed to be like this. <sighs> okay. So once you have all of your hair brushed out, these are all of the things that you'll need. Chapstick. Just kidding. I do need chapstick. You're going to need thread for decorating. You don't need it, but if you want to decorate, you can have beads and thread and all that. A hair tie, scissors for your thread, also optional, brush, and some sort of pointy item. Super simple, like I said. But I am going to have to take it out again when I... Um, go and get my hair done, which isn't for a while, so, I don't know why I can't do my part today. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for the way I'm dressed. It's just my pajamas. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I guess I'm sitting back here. Drop my hair tie. My hair is really long. You can do it on whatever length hair you want. As long as it's not like a boy cut. Like that short. You can do it on uh, a bob.
bobby cut or anything like that. I forgot to put the lid on my chapstick and I set it down on the table. Um, I'm sorry, this video is 17, 10 minutes and 8 and 20 seconds, but. And I haven't even started doing my dreadlocks. Dreadlock. So, I haven't decided which side I want to do it on. I should probably decide that. So, I think I'm just going to do it right here. Yes, I, I am. So, the things you're going to need, I already told you, you know, I think I left out a hair tie. You're going to need a hair tie or a clip or anything to hold back the rest of your hair while you're doing your dread. So, I have what I want to do my dreadlock with. Uh, um, I'll be right back. Or not, maybe I won't. I can't really like concentrate on my hair through the la through the camera because it just shows me the opposite of what I'm doing. I got a giant mirror. I needed one bigger than a makeup mirror. So don't have anything that size that I could set up super fast. So this will have to do. Do not touch the mirror, surely. Okay. Okay. It's my mirror right there. So, I have my piece of hair and I put it somewhere around my head, somewhere. Okay. Brush that piece out. Take the rest of your hair. This is the best hairdo ever. I don't know why I don't do my hair like this all the time. Ow, my finger. I don't know if I just fractured it last night because I can still move it a little bit. Like, that much. Because I know that, like, if I broke it, I would not be able to move it at all. But, so maybe I just fractured it. I don't know. But I totally did not just, like, you know. Ow. Spraying it. Okay, I'm a tough cookie. I can do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to split it into two, like so, and then you're going to cross them over, like that, and then put them together again, and then split them into two, and then cross them over, and then pull them up, and then put them together, and then split them into two. This is turning out terribly so far. I have Apologize. I think I'm going to have to do it in a different spot. Yeah. So, I changed my mind. I'm going to do it right here. Now, since I'm doing it right here, I can do a big one. But on top, a big one just would not look good. Of me. Um, my mom and her boyfriend are not home right now. 
I don't know what they're going to say about this when they get home. But hey, you know, might as well, right? My finger hurts so bad. Best hairdo ever, I know. I have never done a ponytail this good. Okay, so now we're just going to do it the same way that I just showed you. Split it in two, cross them over, put them together. Flip them into, cross them over, pull them up, put them together, kind of twist them around a little bit. Not too much though. And you want to make sure that you pull up a lot. So, then you put them together again, flip them up, cross them all over wrong way. Pull them up. This hurts so bad. Not my head. This doesn't hurt at all, but my finger hurts. Put them together. Put them up. Put them in. Oh wait, I'm not even doing it. How do you do this? Okay. And you're not wearing lip gloss, okay? It's a stupid chapstick. My cat is playing with the curtain. Or she's not my cat, she's my kitten. I'm gonna have to YouTube this again. <laughs> Okay, how to do red walk. Please don't watch this person do this instead of me. I didn't, I wasn't typing. How to, oh no, 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 no. The Helen Keller. Oh, it's genetic. Megan? Hello. Demonstrate everything. The kids have really similar hair type as me. So many hours. Oh yeah. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna start a completely new dreadlock now. I did a few, but I haven't crushed with them yet. So I'm just wanting you to see, and watch, and learn, because I'm really sure to explain and things. So okay, I'm doing like getting little tiny square of her hair. Look at that. Can be square, triangle, whatever you fancy. Shape. Doesn't matter. You know, as long as it's not like a long line and you're trying to do it right. So squares I think is the best. So okay, now just watch because I don't know how to explain this thing. Basically I only use twist and rip method plus crush hook. And I use I was trying to use the twist and rip method. So yeah. How I start I just generally like twist the hair and rip them apart like this, like whatever and start building the base. It will take a while, you know, just twist and rip. It looks like I'm just messing with her hair, but actually twist. building the base, because some people just rip as hard rip. as they can, and that's... Twist, rip. I don't think it's really twist, good, because you're just ripping the hairs twist. out and don't do anything good. So yeah, you can see twist. there's some sort of, you know, and that's starting building up. So split it in two, twist, so just enjoy. And rip, and twist, 
and rip. Oh, I see I'm it. doing this one a bit slower than I usually would, just right. for, you know, teaching purposes. <laughs> so literally, I just twist. It doesn't matter which way, just just one way, and rip them apart, whatever, you know, is good. So it's she's right. It does take a really long time. Yeah. We have to always keep it like down, you know, like that, so you get all the hairs in. Obviously, you will get over the crush hook on the top. Yeah. Hey, Joey. I'll make it, I will start doing it a bit quicker because, yeah, my goodness, it's because it's because the train. Turn me sucker down. Okay. You also end up with all these lumps and hairs and around, but it's okay, you know. You will get them in with caution with me. Okay. Okay. These are really, really tiny dress, by the way. If the, with more hair, it's a bit harder and it takes more time, I guess. But, you know, this is how I didn't mind exactly this sectioning and all that. So this is just only how to make your locks. About sectioning, it's completely different because how I didn't mind, I will have to do another video just to show my sections. But yeah, you can so I'm going to look at a different video because Sorry. this one is just not working for me. My name is Chris McBread. I'm going to demonstrate how to do easy dreadlocks on afro hair. The technique I've used in straight hair, but I'm going to try, uh, I've done it on afro, but I haven't documented it. I'm going to be using a uh, molding gel. Oh my god, how to do trip to How long have you wanted dreads? Uh, how long have you been waiting? Uh, for 15 years. 15 years? You've been waiting 15 years. That's a long time to be waiting. kind of at random, but then we're going to smooth it over around the edges just to make sure that none of the hairs are going to go into any other sections. So we're just going to go gently round the line of the section that we want to take, pinch that bit away, and then if you look around the edge you can see if there's any bits of hair that are going to go into any other section, it might be a problem. So if we find a bit, just whip it out like that, and then you've got a smooth clear, smooth clear way to take your section. My hair is obviously very long. Rip and twist. So for the rip and twist method, um, what we're going to do is just pinch it with two fingers and pull it apart. And that's literally all you have to do. You pull in the hair back down together, pull in it apart, and repeat in that process. Now what I'm doing is just grabbing two separate bunches, 
completely at random and separate okay. it from what it does. So, what I have seen from this video is so much simpler than the one, than the stuff that people are trying to show us. So this is going to be my version of Twist and Rip. Rip. Twist. I mean, Twist. Rip. Twist. Rip. Twist. Rip. Oops. Twist. <laughs> my cat. Rip. Twist. Why isn't it working? Okay. Let's look at that again. How long have you wanted dreads? Make sure that none of the hairs are going to any other sections. So we're just going to go gently round the line. If there's any bits of hair that are going to go into any other section, it might be a problem. So if you find a bit, just whip it out like that. And then you've got a smooth, clear, smooth, clear way to take your section and uh, start your first dread. So for the rip and twist method, um, what we're going to do is just pinch your two things and pull it apart. And that's literally all you have to do. So pulling the hair back down together, pulling it apart, and repeating that process. And what I'm doing is just grabbing two separate bunches. So, completely at random, what I'm seeing here is it's really not going to work. Look in here, you can see it's sending lots it's of knots up to the root. Tease that a little. Which is essentially what a dreadlock So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tease it. I'm going to tease my hair. Teasing my hair. Like that. So my hair is very big now. This is just a little strip of my hair after it's been teased. And I'm not done teasing. I'm nowhere near done teasing. So now I'm going to split this in half, and I'm going to tease half and half. Now you can use any brush for this, but the little ones work the best. I'm going to do up here too. This is totally brushable. It just takes a lot of um, time and pain. <laughs> Okay, so now let's try the twist and rip. So rip, rip. So basically what you do is you just close it and open it. And close it and open it. And find different places to rip it. I mean to open it. This is what it means by rip. Rip. Like that. You're not like actually ripping your hair. Promise. Okay, now I feel it starting. You do want to pull really hard when you rip. You want to rip really hard. <laughs> I'm so sorry that this video is a half hour long.
Okay, so they were right about this taking forever. Ah. It really does take forever. You call me beautiful. Well, this is going to be a thicker dread because I feel like it. This is what it looks like so far. It's from here up. It does work a little bit better with dirty hair. That is the truth. Okay, never mind, I was wrong. I just started, it's from here up. Because you have to rip really hard. Kind of like when you're double knotting a shoe, you know. You want to make sure it's tied, really tight. Same with a dreadlock. I can't believe I'm doing this to my hair. I'm going camping tomorrow, so now people are gonna see my dreadlock and they're gonna be like. Hey, you should do that in my hair. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> it's like it's a 12 and up camping trip, except 16 and under. 12 and up, 16 and under. So, it's going to be with a bunch of kids that are my age. Ow! You hurt my finger really bad. <laughs> it hurts. I don't recommend doing this if you have a broken finger. <laughs> It looks great so far! Woo! I'm so excited to be done. <laughs> I'll do it very slowly. Try me so. So the hardest part is just getting it started. The easy part is keeping it going. Maybe the hardest part is ending it. We'll see. We'll just see about that. My kitten is so weird. My k kitten. <laughs> okay, this is how long it is now.
finger wants to squeeze with the rest of my fingers. Mm, ow. <laughs> I don't think ending it is going to be all that hard. Watch the videos on it. Looks pretty easy to me. But what's recommended for ending it is a crochet needle because it's got the little scoopy end. So, and you'll see why. My bird won't shut up. I mean, we have insurance. We just don't have it right now. We're going through some crap. We're about to go to court. That's why I'm waiting on dyeing my hair because I don't want to go to court with super electric hair. It won't make me look like a little girl. And I need to look like a little girl for court. Just a brunette with a little bit of red and blonde a little bit at the bottom. Some of them. <sighs> now, um, when you take your dread out, it's going to be, you're going to lose a lot of hair. So if you're doing this to your whole head, it takes forever, because this one has taken 37 minutes, 38 minutes, and if you do your whole head, eat. Thirty-eight minutes. Eat. So we're like halfway finished. Oh my god, that scared me. That kitten's freaking out. some pretty clean parts like right here but then you go up and it's pretty fuzzy which is what the dreadlock is supposed to look like yeah we are um, a little over halfway done now And I know why. 
because I need to tease this. Seriously, if you want your dreadlocks to look sort of kind of good in a way, you need to tease it. Unless you want it super neat and tidy, which is not what a dreadlock is supposed to look like. There we go, I'm getting my dreadlock back. Shut it! What a room. Was that the end of the CD? I'm pretty sure that was the end of the CD. Sorry guys, I will be right back. Okay, now I'm getting down to the layers, and, um, it's kind of getting thinner. Does anyone else like Hollywood Undead? I love Hollywood Undead. to wash it, you know, you just wash it, like the rest of your hair. There's nothing special about it that you need to do. It's just a clump of hair. <laughs> this is what it looks like so far. We are way more than halfway done. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Because who to funk it? Dreadlocks take forever. I'm gonna try to go really fast. That's kind of hard to go really fast. It's really hard to go really fast. It's pretty cool so far. It looks like this is going to be kind of long. But, um, usually when you do dreadlocks, it really makes your hair look super short. Or at least the, that one dreadlock. Or however many dreadlocks you're doing. So if you do your whole head, um, it's going to be... You know, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, it's going to be short. It's going to be really short. It's not really working out that way for me. It's really long. We only have a few more inches.
And the reason I'm taking it out for dyeing my hair is because if I choose to take it out later on, um, then I'm just going to have this one section of not dyed hair, and it's going to look funky. My hair is pretty thick, too, so I didn't have to get a lot of hair, um, but like I said, when you take it out, it is super, you take a lot of hair. Um, if you look up pictures of people right after they took their dreadlocks out, they'll be holding, like, a clump of hair, like a clump, like a clump as big as your, as big as a chihuahua whatever dog you have. <laughs> if you have a dog. I'll shut up now. So like on my camping trip, the parents are like literally just dropping off their kid in the middle of the forest. Yeah, there will be a couple of guardians. But it sounds pretty cool to me. I went to Catalina and for a whole school we had one chaperone. One teacher to assist us. It was very hectic. It is shorter than my hair, but not by a lot. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here. So, this is where your needle comes in. You're going to brush it out. With your little baby brush. And then you're going to go through. Okay, after you've brushed it, you're going to tease it. Tease, tease. Like so. Now you take your needle. Go through one end of the dreadlock and then wrap some hair around here and then scoop it in through the dreadlock. It's really hard. I should have done it higher up. Okay. And kind of just like stuff it in your dread. Or another thing you can do is tie it. And then stick it up here. But you should probably do it a little bit more neat than this. I'm not going to end it right there. It's too short. I mean, it's not short enough. It's too long. So, I'm just going to keep going.
and super sweaty. <sighs> um, I'm not wearing my choker right now, but I'm usually wearing a choker. There are a couple things different about me right now. I mm, just woke up. My choker was annoying me, so I took it off for a couple days. For a couple days, I shower in it, I sleep in it, I live in my choker. So I, yeah, I kind of wanted a break from it. My neck was getting tired. Her tail's all fluffed up. What happened? What happened? She's all creeped out. I don't know what happened. Yeah, her tail's all fluffy. She's just walking around super slow in circles with skunk tail in motion. What? What'd you do? <laughs> oh, scared the crying mini out of her. Okay. <laughs> I scared her with my foot. What happened? This is my cat. Ugh. Do you like my dreadlock? Look how pretty it is. Yeah, you could touch it. Look at it. This is my kitten. Her name's Alvatar. Not Avatar. Alvatar. Oh baby. Oh, it's so cute. Don't bite me. <laughs> she's a brat. And if she's freaked out right now, which doesn't help her being a brat. Video is an hour long. Sorry. Dreadlocks take forever. You might want to film yourself doing this because it kind of, you know, passes a lot of time. I don't even know if I'm going to publish this. To YouTube. Fifty four minutes long. Great. Great. I do like my dreadlock. I really do. But I don't know how I'm going to end it. Well, I do kind of know how I'm going to end it. I guess it's just whatever goes, you know? What goes, goes. chicken. Don't know why. Don't ask. I'm talking to a camera. Okay, so now that it's down to like nothing, I am going to end it right here. Well, I guess I still have a little bit to go.
the smaller it gets, the fuzzier it gets. It's so freaking fuzzy. Okay, now I'm going to look up how to end a dreadlock. How to end a... Adjust your hands. I spelled dread wrong. There it is. Mm -hmm. Surprise that I want... I hate that. When it does that. <laughs> what? I'm just going to go for it. I have decided, because why not? I'm going to tie it. Hold on. I'm going. Did you see my kitten on the couch? <laughs> She's so weird. Okay, I'm going to... There she is! Oh. I scared her. I'm coming in hot Okay. So, once I have my knot, I'm going to take my needle. And just came untied. Okay. I'm going to have to brush that out. It is brushed out. Interesting. Okay. Mm. See, the little is not in there. So now, I'm going to hold this so it doesn't come untied. And then I'm going to stick my needle in right here. Stick my needle. Just a second. Hello? trying to sell me something. But yay, I found my phone. I couldn't find it. And then someone someone, you know, called it. I wanted to sell me they're all you are the health owner, right? And I'm like, no, I'm twelve. Bye. So I'm gonna stick it in right here. Stick it in my knot. And then try to bring the knot up through where I stuck the needle. So I have it kind of like knitting. I guess it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm going to have to stick it in the knot, and then I'm going to have to spread this open so that I can get the knot through. Guys, I have no clue how to do this. I'm just saying. So I have this clump that I just made on my needle. I'm going to put it in through where my needle was. Or the part that I just spread. I've got a dreadlock. So now I'm going to take my hands and roll it. Ta-da! With nothing but my hands. There isn't, I didn't use anything on my hair. It, I think it worked a little bit better than I thought it would because it's dirty. So, there we go. The dreadlock. It worked my way. Who'd have thunk it? So now it's time to decorate it. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna go see if I have any different colors. Mm Turns out I have this devil's eye thingy that I made a long time ago, but it's got the perfect color thread yarn on it for my dreads. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I have to cut it apart though first. And there we go. some red yarn. It's really hard to take apart though. I'm just gonna like... How are you supposed to... That works. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and take a really, really long piece because I do what I want. Okay. Nothing left. This part's tied so I couldn't use it. So then I'm going to take it in half. I'm going to take the two ends. I'm going to take the two ends. Like that. So now it's split in half. And put it up on the very top and tie it. it with all of my might. My finger hurts. Okay. So now I have tied it. 
and I'm just going to do 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 I know I went like full on and just did it with a huge dreadlock. You don't have to do that. You can do a little one. And then you can take it out if you don't like it. I don't know if I like it like that. Maybe I should just do a few, like really spaced apart. Okay, got it. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Maybe I should just leave it like this. I'm gonna look up some pictures of dreadlocks on brown hair and see what kind of stuff they have on them. <laughs> See, I don't... These people do have some really cool stuff on their red locks, but I don't know what to put on there. Should I just like twist it up like How do I end this thing? I'm gonna tie it. Because why not? See, some people with dread like dreadlocks are just hot. <coughs> I don't think I am. Dreadlock. Cool yo. Now I need a headband to go with it. Like one of those thick OW! Elastic finger ow elastic headbands. Super big thick one. Wanna talk about I'm talking to a camera. 
that's what I'm talking about. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on the next video that I should do. Bye, guys.